Now then we turn to another subject and give me a little chance. I'm getting reports from many parts of the world that the law now does not permit us to perform Salatul Juma. We are prohibited from leaving our homes. We are prohibited as in Trinidad and Tobago from being in a gathering of more than 10 people. And so the Salatul Juma is now in a, a difficulty. What do we do? Uh, there are two azans I know of. Allah speaks in the Quran and he says, Ya ayyuhallatheena amanu, O you who have faith in Allah, Iza nudiya lissalati mi yawmil jum'ah. When the azan is called for the, for the day, on the day of jum'ah, for the salatu jum'ah, for sa'aw ila zikrillah, then hasten to the remembrance of Allah. So in order for you to have the salat, you must have the azan. And in one azan, you say, Hayya ala salat. Come, you're calling the people, come, 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 all of you come, everybody come for salat. It is obligatory. But suppose when rain is falling, when rain is falling, the azan will change. And the muazzin will now say, Salli fi buyutikam. Perform your salat in your homes. But I've never heard about an azan where come for salat, but you must not come with more than 10 people. That is not an azan. So what do you do? If you have a salat al jumah, and when more than 10 people come, you do not allow them to pray because the law does not allow it, you are not performing Salatul Juma, that is an invalid Salat, it will not be accepted. Do I need to repeat that 5,000 times? You cannot restrict the number of people for Salatul Juma. Do I need to repeat that 10,000 times? The law does not permit you to restrict the number of people. No. The law from Allah and his messenger. But when the law of the land tells you you're not allowed to have more than 10, the answer is you have to suspend Salatul Juma. You will not have to answer to Allah. The government will have to answer to Allah, not you. And the, you will continue with no Salatul Juma like this until either they lift the, lift the restriction or you make hijra. And you go somewhere else where you can live in submission to Allah's law. And so uh, my answer and my guidance to you is don't seek to defy the government in India. No. If you are in India, listen to me. If you are in India, listen to me. This government of India is a Zionist government. Yes, it is an enemy. But not all Hindus are like that. No. There are Hindus who have integrity. There are Hindus who can think. And there are Hindus who can recognize that the government of Israel is an oppressor. And the government of India which supports Israel is an oppressor. There are Hindus who can think. So don't condemn Hinduism. Condemn the government of India. But don't condemn and don't disrespect Hinduism. So if the, if the government of India re, re prohibits you from gathering in the masjid, obey. Obey. Do not go to the masjid to perform your salat if the law does not allow you to do so. In other parts of the world, if you allow only 10 people, don't have a salat al jummah with only 10 because that is an invalid salat. Remember what I'm telling you so you don't have to answer on Judgment Day, okay? For performing an invalid salat and misguiding the people. Be careful, do not misguide the people. You have to suspend the Salat al Juma. What about the Salat bil Jama'a, the congregational Salat? The congregational Salat or the Salat bil Jama'a, for example, Salat al Zuhr, cannot be held with restrictions. No. If 10 people come and number 11 come and tell them, no, you cannot join, that is an invalid Salat. So if you cannot perform the Salat al Juma, you cannot perform any Salat bil Jama'a 
if you are going to restrict. If you allow the people to come, fine, the Salat will be valid. If you put no restriction, the Salat will be valid. But if you don't put a restriction and more than 10 people come, in this country you can be fined $50,000. I don't have that money to pay. And also you can go to jail for six months. 